Okay, it takes me quite a while, but I finally finished painting him. So here is Shang Yu. So the painting scheme is actually really, really simple. Anything that was red, well, first of all, everything was spray black except for the hand, because I can't be bothered. And uh, anything that was red, uh, painted with a, crimson, a dark crimson red, and then uh, lightly brushed with, uh, with blood red to give it a slightly dark and oldish uh, color red. Uh, anything that is blue, well, I just brush, with, brush it with um, regal blue. And gold and silver, I've done it normally. Silver is just one layer of mithril silver. Anything that's gold is uh, tin bit, uh, and then one layer of darker gold, and then a brighter layer of gold. So yeah, so now with all the detail painted on, he looks a lot different to what it was before. And not to mention that the face is no longer white, so it doesn't look that bad. So yeah, and the clear red feels very nice as well. It gives it a very quick big, uh, contrast to the rest of the kit. The weapon remains the same, so... Still long, spiky, and mostly one color. But yeah, all of the... Uh, Gold chrome are uh, painted over because it just looked too different from the rest of the kit. So yeah, he looks pretty good. Uh, painting skill definitely helped in this case. Uh, it's greatly improved the looks of the kit, and uh, you now can actually see the detail on the kit instead of um, feel the kit, feel the um, the detail. So that's thank you himself. As for his horse, his now painted, so it doesn't have that metallic gray, metallic grayish paints that doesn't look like gray, doesn't look like gray, and doesn't look like um, metal. So instead, I painted the whole once again. I spray the whole thing in black, and anything that looks like armor, I paint in mithril silver, and then add some gold trim on it. So yeah, looks pretty good. The eyes is um, silver with um, clear green on top of it. Uh, little bits and pieces of it is highlighted with the same um, dark red gore red that uh, I use on uh, Sangyu's inner body and again everything is gold uh, some of the little mechanical detail is painted with uh, Bolton metal just to give it some contrast as in as is uh, this two part as well but yeah looks reasonable looks a bit like a horse well, when you look at it from the side, it looks like a horse. When you look at it from the front, it's like, what the hell is off this? That is probably the most, muscul uh, most muscular horse you can ever find in the world. So yeah, it, it works. I guess, overall. So yeah, this is it. This is Sangyu and his horse. Made by uh, Long Gone. My opinion about, about this kit? Yeah, it's good. Something that is not something from a bootleg company that is not a bootleg at all. For for what it is, it is pretty amazing. Uh, of course, being one of the first thing they have ever done, there are errors, bits and pieces of it that is wrong. Uh, the pre paint is nice, but it wasn't done too well. Um, the plastic quality is a bit rubbish. It's not one of those plastic where you, when you get used to with. The Bandai one, you know that um, the cement will definitely melt and glue things together. In this case, uh, it's not a guarantee. But yeah, the detail is great. Uh, the articulation overall is good. Um, it feels durable as well. Once things actually do stick together, it feels durable. This guy feels very strong. It wouldn't actually fall apart uh, anytime soon. In fact, the joints are pretty good as well. It's very, very stable. And yeah, same goes to him as well. So yeah, if you want something interesting, want something different, if you want a uh, companion to your uh, Shin Musa Gundam and Shin Musa Mark II, yeah, these two might be a good, might be a good companion to them. To them. So that's basically it for me. Uh, join me next time.